All right, folks, uh, I filmed a little bit here of the mall and I wanted to show it to you. So I went to the mall. I went to uh, one of three remaining malls here because uh, I wanted to show you where the old KB toy store was. And uh, then I showed you where this arcade used to be called Time Out. And it's not a dead mall per se, but it's it's got, it's half like short-term leases. And that was never the deal back in the day, short-term leases. Some of these stores I've never heard of. Some of these stores have the most bizarre clothing I've ever seen. Um, but anyway, we're testing out the GoPro again. We're gonna go to the mall and look at where the old KB was, look at where the second KB was. There was two in this mall. And then uh, look at where the old arcade was. It's a quick video, just check it out. All right, let's walk into this sludge hole. As you can see, literally a sludge hole. I used to love this place. There's gonna be a lot of uh, mall walkers here today. So we're actually walking into the spot where KB was. So you'll see. Yeah, you'll see the, the deadness. Um, that's an old Sears. That's where Sears used to be. I'll show you, as soon as these walkers leave, I'll show you where KB used to be. Let's see, Payless, let's go look at Payless. So again, this massively closed off store was Sears. Uh, Payless is obviously gone. The KB, where the Howie Elizabeth incident happened, was right around here. Right around here. So these are all, you can, this was once something else. I don't know, that's like multiple stores combined into one. But KB was right in this area. Um, I'll try to turn and look for you. KB was right around here. Right around here, and there used to be a big uh, um, uh, bench here, a seating area, um, like an industrial uh, industrial um, statue, and, and a big brick seating area was right here. And so this is where I kind of ran out and um, <laughs> stole Elizabeth. So anyway, KB used to be here. It's nothing now. It's not. It's literally not even a store. It's just a wall. It's just a wall. So we'll walk through the mall. And uh, this is one of three malls in the area. This is probably the most unsafe mall. Um, there was a massive brawl here of over 200 kids. And uh, now children are not allowed in the mall at any time without a parent. They used to not be allowed in after like six or so. And now it's now it's uh, no kids allowed without a parent. 200 kids just tearing up this place. Just disgusting. So then you get a lot of like, um, you get a lot of stores that aren't really stores. You know, they're just rentals. You know, Benzers over there. You know, Benzers is one of those like import um, bootlegs sometimes, just junk. You know, I don't even know what this store is. You know, like who, I don't know, who even wears this stuff? I have no idea, but you know, the, the reflexology place, you know, it's all just, these are all, these are all just fly-by-night stores, you know, brow studio. So the way this works, that store up there, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's Burlington. And then there was a store above it. That used to be service, um, what did that used to be? Um, Circuit City. Remember Circuit City? Circuit City was way up there. 
and it hasn't uh, hasn't been anything since Circuit City left, and that was what 15, 20 years ago. Um, so this mall used to be. So this mall was only one mall. So I'll show you. I'll show you what this mall used to be. So again, all these stupid kiosks, you know, we fix your cell phone. Um, the, uh, the, I don't know, the cologne store that nobody goes in. Uh, also closed. Or maybe they're moved. Oh yeah, this location closed. Fly by night store. This mall ended right here. Right here. This used to be uh, Kaufman's. This used to be Kaufman's and this used to be a wall. That was the end of the mall. This is how you'd get out of the mall. Back in the, uh, the Howie Elizabeth days, this mall was just, it ended right here. It ended right here. This was it. It was just one strip of a mall and then all this was built in the 90s. So they, this mall was actually split up into two malls. It was called Long Ridge Mall and then Grease Ridge Mall. And in the 90s, they built this section. Hey, check it out. It's my old store. There it is. There's Lids. That's not my old store. I wasn't in this mall. For Lids, anyways. I was in this mall for Aero Pastel. And we're coming up on that. I do need a leather jacket. I want to buy a leather jacket, but I don't know. They used to have, remember Wilson's, Wilson's leather? I kind of want a leather jacket. I think that means I'm getting old and even more of a dad that I want a leather jacket. Look at these stores, custom tees. And then this one, look at this. Natch, what is it? Natty Arts and Fashion, good God. Who on earth? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, God. And they're not open, so I don't know if they open at regular time, but... God, Lord. All right, so... there was Okay, so there was a second KB here when this new mall opened, the, the portion that we're in now. I used to work here at Aeropostale. And the KB was literally right there where the arts and fashion store is. So this was the old KB. Not the, not the, Howie, Deck, not the Howie incident, but that's the, uh, that's the old KB right there. Native arts and fashions was once a KB when, the, when, the, when this mall opened, when the new mall opened. All right, so we are almost at the point where the mall ended. So right, right about, uh, let's see, we'll get you there. So now, remember, in the, in the 80s, none of this was here. That, that strip that we walked down, that was it. And right about here was Greastown Mall. And that was the beginning of a new mall. And so you had to go, you had to drive through the parking lot if you wanted to go to both malls. You had to drive through the parking lot and you had to, uh, to go to the second mall. And this was the second mall. And this is even more dead than the first part of the old mall. There's nothing going on over here. Nothing. So this used to be Grease Town Mall. And uh, yeah, all we have is, you know, some weird little, strangely enough, the old arcade from these malls used to be called Time Out. And now they have kind of a little generic one called Time Out Zone. But yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty much it, folks. But I wanted to show you where the old KB was. I think we're going to do a series of stuff that used to be other stuff. 
Um, yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll flip it around and uh, we'll head back. All right, one more thing I wanted to show you. This is the old mall. Again, this is where, uh, this was part of Long Ridge Mall back in the day. This is where the old uh, Time Out used to be, the old video game, uh, the old arcade. Time Out used to be right here. And uh, that's where I played, you know, Map Mania and Double Dragon and the Turtles arcade when that first came out. But uh, there used to be a, a children's, like, play thing right here. Um, kids could climb on these foam bricks and, you know, they'd be in the arcade over there. And over there, where there's just a wall, used to be a, uh, an Abbott's ice cream. So you'd get Abbott's ice cream, you'd go over, and you'd play in the arcade. But those days are gone.